Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can sort lists in Word. In Microsoft Word, you can sort lists in Word? You sure can. I always thought you could just do it in Excel, but it turns out you can also do it in Microsoft Word. And hey, it's full disclosure before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. All right, well, let's jump into it. Here I am on my desktop and I'm gonna open up uh, Microsoft Word. I have the latest version. This is uh, Word that comes with Office 365. Although if you have Word, let's say 2019, 2016, 2013, 2010, 2007, you name the version, uh, sorting's been in Word for a long time. So you'll probably also be able to do it. Uh, but I'm just using the latest version and I know for sure it works there. Uh, so here I am in Word and let's, I have three different lists. So I have a list of cities I have a list of numbers and I have a list of dates and I want them to be in a specific order. For my cities, I want it from A to Z. How do I sort it? Well, so what I'm gonna do is let me select this data. So I have Seattle through London. It's not in order right now. On the main home tab, you'll see an option that says A to Z with a down arrow. This is the sort control. What you can also do is up here in search, you can also type in sort and that's another way that you can get it up. But we're gonna use the button because that's easy enough. So I'm gonna click on sort. Uh, and in here, it gives me a few different options. You could sort based on paragraphs. So each line here is a paragraph. You could also sort based on headings or fields. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, and uh, let's take a look here within types. So you could sort by text, numbers, or also dates. And then you could choose whether you wanna do it ascending. So ascending is um, A would come first for text, and then Z would come last. Um, if I did descending, it would start with the Z and it would end with the A. Um, so I could decide how I wanna sort that list, but I wanna do it from um, A to Z and by text. And what we're gonna do then is, uh, oh, one more option I wanna call out. If I had selected cities as well, that would be a header row, <clears throat> but I didn't select it, so I have no header row. So I'm gonna make sure I select no header row. And what we're gonna do then is, uh, let's just click on okay. Boom, there you have it. Um, I have Cairo, which is a C, and then Venice, which is a V at the very end. Um, so that's how I sort a list of uh, letters. What I'll do next is I have a whole bunch of numbers here, same exact thing. So I'm gonna select all those numbers. This time I'm gonna just search for sort and we're gonna click on sort. And what I wanna do here, once again, I wanna do it by paragraphs. And this time it identified that it's numbers. And this time I'm gonna go from the largest number to the smallest number. So we're gonna do descending. And once again, I have no header row because I did not select numbers. And then we'll click on okay. And um, here you'll see it starts with 657 all the way down to three. It ordered my list based on the size of the number. Uh, and then the last thing is I have a list of dates. So I wanna go from the oldest to the newest. Once again, I'm gonna click on sort. Uh, it automatically identifies the data type as date, you know, which is kind of nice that it does that. Uh, and then I wanna go f ascending. So, the, uh, so let's go with that. And then here descending is uh, basically the highest date or the most recent date all the way down to the oldest date. Uh, and uh, so there, there I have it. I could sort lists uh, in Microsoft Word. Uh, super simple to do. It's not just the domain of Excel. You could also do it in Word. It's kind of a neat little trick. If you have a list that you want to organize, you could very easily do that. Uh, anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you were able to sort a list successfully because of this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any other things that you need help on or other how-to videos that you'd like to see, please leave a comment down below and I'll add that to my list of videos to create in the future. Hey, and that's all I had for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.